So what do you make of Le- your interpretation of LeBron showing up to Summer League and like fall- kind of knew what he was doing, locked in, knew the players, the whole thing? I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was a great message to his new teammates, Josh Hart, Brandon Ingram, all the Lakers, that the best player in the world, the best player on your team, is going to watch a Summer League game of guys that – are representing the Lakers now, but won't be a part of the team. Like one guy, yeah. Josh Hartwell, and then uh, the kid from Kansas. Yeah, most of them will not be on the roster, but he's there supporting them. LeBron is very much into team building, camaraderie, all that. And this was the first step to building that camaraderie. Look, he'll probably have a private handshake with every player on the team. He'll probably buy them some type of gift. Last year it was the suits. In the past, it's been headphones. You know, he does that type of stuff that builds team camaraderie. And I thought yesterday was the first step. I thought the shorts may have been an olive branch to the Kobe enthusiast and the Lakers fans. Well, I think some obviously some Lakers fans or Kobe fans, whatever you want to call them, are skeptical about him being LA in LA. They defaced the mural that was painted up here twice. Some might be upset that he didn't show up at this pizza party where they thought he might. He implied he might. I, I'm like you. I never thought he was going to that. Um, and 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 bottom line, you got some free pizza. Why are you upset? <laughs> and it's good. Blaze Pizza is good. But um, I think for those that are bothered about it, I think maybe the shorts was just to show him, look, I'm all in. You're upset. I haven't spoken. I haven't said anything about the Lakers or me being here. But the shorts was a sign I'm all in. I'm all about the Laker, Lakers now and Laker Nation. So that's what it was about. You know, it is interesting. Um, I think one of the – you know, whenever I get hate mail or something, I, I always – I tell young broadcasters, hate mail and, and fan mail are the same thing. They're both viewers. Yes. No, I don't that's care. Right. Hate, love. It's You know, my wife half the time hates me, hopefully sometimes <laughs> likes me and loves me. But it's an emotion. I want to have an emotional relationship with my audience. And – I think what Laker fans are showing you is we love Kobe, and because we love Kobe, there's the new guy in town, and we're disrespecting Kobe. I think what Laker fans, it's not as much hate to LeBron. It's love for Kobe. I agree. Kobe's our guy. You have to prove you 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 gotta win me over because Kobe gave me five of these. I agree. He gave me so I don't think it is I don't see it as hate. I see it as love for Kobe. Well, I think there are a couple things there. One, I thought with the mural that was painted. It the fact that it said King of LA. Yeah, that's, I'm that's sure rough. that's what I, even me who I wouldn't have defaced it, but I even looked at that like That's much. Yeah, that's disrespectful to Kobe. But I would even go, you could even add on Magic, Kareem, like all these great Lakers, and now all of a sudden you just step in here in day one, you're the king. I wonder if it had said welcome to LA yes. King James, if it would have been the same reaction. Yeah. So I think that's one. I think two. If there was any thought in LeBron, and obviously he wants to win, but if there's any thought of, I'm going to go there, and if we win, great. If not, okay. But, you know, this is my transition into business and and Hollywood and all that. This could be a sign, the defacing and and the skepticism by some fans, that, look, we expect a ring. Like don't we don't want to just see you fade away into the suns that needs to be your your last years and and the half of the contract you're not LeBron you're not the same player don't come here and think you don't have to win and so maybe this ratchets it up and says look we we expect a championship LeBron and maybe it'll be a little nick on his legacy if he doesn't get that championship at least to some Laker fans by the way um John Lynch took over the 49ers. It's a plan. They got Garoppolo. They had a really good opening draft. The plan is working. But just because a plan works doesn't mean you win. Right. Golden State, Draymond Green started slow first couple of years. He wasn't Draymond Green. Yeah. Steph Curry, the evolution of Steph took four years. I mean, Russell Westbrook has been in Oklahoma City 10 years. I think he finally has two teammates who really like him. <laughs> Steven Adams, Paul George. I mean, long term. I mean, I think both are going to be there long term. I mean, James Harden, you know, was like, hey, I'm too good to be sitting on the bench. And Durant, it rubbed the wrong way. Ten years, and I finally look at OKC, and I think, all right, now we got three guys who got – they've chosen each other. They like each other. Starbucks started in 1971. It didn't really get national until 1985. 
Okay, Amazon started selling books. They now own the world. Like this idea that Magic's going to take over. To me, I look at Magic's plan. They dump bad contracts. They had a great draft. They land LeBron. Like it's working, but right? It's, it is definitely working because this is my prediction for next year. 53 wins and LeBron's the MVP. That's my prediction for oh, next season. Yeah. 53 wins, LeBron's MVP. Now, here's the challenge or the problem with, with what you said about the plan. You're right. It's working. But the problem is your guy, LeBron, how much longer is he going to play at this level? Now, we haven't seen decline. Last year was arguably his best offensive season of all time or his best season. But – in his third year, it's a three-year plan. How good is he going to be in the third okay, year? Okay, let me ask you this. I don't know. I'm not okay. saying he won't okay, be. I saw Michael Jordan play, and I don't know how old he was, but he went to D.C. at 38. Yes. I saw him two years later in Portland, Oregon. I was sitting next to my friend Brian Lightgib, and he dropped 40 on the Blazers, and the Blazers had like Bonzi Wells, I mean Damon Stoudemire, they're good players. Yeah. Okay, Michael was a cigar smoker, a steak eater, Baked potatoes, heavy wine, up all night playing cards. Okay, that was a generation ago. LeBron's 33. Yeah. Okay, so I saw Jordan at 40 walk into the Rose Garden, and I mean Bonzi Wells was a baller. Yeah. And Bonzi was like jaw floor, <laughs> dominated all these guys in their 20s. And Jordan was a smoker and a, and a drinker. I mean, to his own admission, he's a, he drinks, smokes, yeah. golfs, late night gambling. That was a 40, and that was a different but generation. It's, a, it's about the mileage. And I'm not predicting a downfall for LeBron. I think for the next three years, he will definitely still be a top five player. For how long? At least the next three years. Well, then that, the there's your five. answer. I'm just saying, I think. We don't know. The, if he if he's in, in his 18th year, which would be the three-year, right, the third-year right. plan, in his 18th year, if he is still a top five player, that's unprecedented. Okay, but I, now he, maybe he'll do it. He's defied father time yes, to this extent. Okay, how many years has Ronaldo been playing soccer? He's with Juventus now, his private jet. For, Fifteen. Okay, so he's one behind LeBron. Okay, did you watch him in the World Cup? He had a hat trick. He was the best player I saw in the World Cup. And LeBron was the best player this year in his fifteenth year. And Tom Brady's but the best I, quarterback. I'm just, look, I'm not predicting a downfall. But I'm just saying, at some point, Father Time's going to hit LeBron. I'll tell you something. Father Time's taking a nap. He's not around with these guys. <laughs> Seriously, he's in the other but room. That, that's the – look, you're right with Jordan in the age, but LeBron is in his going to be in his 16th year. The, don't forget the Olympic games, the playoff games, the finals appearances. Okay, I've known – how old are you? I'm 49. Okay, I've known you for a decade. You are – you work out. I imagine you eat right. Yeah. Okay, you look the exact <laughs> same. I mean, seriously. The the bottom line is you're a journalist. Yes. When you're an elite athlete, and, I, and I'll go back to saying this, 41 in the NFL for a quarterback is the new 36. 33 is the new 31. I think these guys, LeBron, I think Ronaldo. Re, I, yeah, I think it remains to be seen. Because you're right. Maybe Tom Brady and LeBron James are going to show us there's a new standard. We haven't seen a lot of other guys do that, right? Those two are doing it, but we haven't seen really anybody else. But maybe they're setting a but, new standard in, in 10, 15 years from now. We'll expect guys to play that People long. forget this about Kobe Bryant. How many years did he play? Well, Kobe was still great in his 16th and 17th years, At, but then he got hurt. Okay. But even so I'll give you that. Okay. So Kobe, was, and by the way, Kobe was. And he uh, scored 60 in his last okay, game. Okay. And Kobe was, you know, salmon. Not a smoker, yeah. not a partier. Kobe's not a big drinker. Kobe was 16 and had a really bad injury. I think it's fair to say LeBron's body is its absurd. It's bigger and stronger than Kobe. So if, if, if Kobe out, doesn't yeah. have an injury, and let's just say he has one of the two, because it was like the he had a second one yeah. too. Kobe was great for 16. He yeah, was, he was he, great for 17. Yeah. I, I remember him doing a tomahawk dunk. I came on and talked about it on the air. I was at the other place. He did a tomahawk dunk in year 15, and I'm like, what's he doing over in Germany in the offseason? Because <laughs> that doesn't look like a tomahawk dunk from right, a 15-year guy. Right. And by so the way, are you predicting title win, third year title? I'm predicting they don't win this year, and then let's watch for five because they're going to start stacking trophies. Get, right? They're going to start stacking trophies.
Really? In the second year. So who you got? You got them getting somebody. The only way they stack trophies is getting another guy. Is if they get another guy and Golden State decides to break it up. That's gonna for happen. For whatever reason. Yeah. Everybody break the Beatles break up. They shouldn't, but they might. Everybody breaks up. U2 is the only group that doesn't break up. I Everybody, saw them a few weeks ago, too. They, oh, my gosh. Tremendous concert. How good are they? As a 49-year-old man, you still look amazing. Yes. Yeah. Well, That's thank like what you. kale thank milkshakes you. and sit-ups do. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.